we begin executing orders, we're going to talk about the GDAX order matching engine and how it operates. This will guide our expectations when we start experimenting with the various order types and parameters. In another video on the Deep Lizard channel, we talked about exchanges and we said that exchanges organize markets for traders. They organize supply and demand using order books. They also set the rules for interacting with these order books. These rules give us certainty as traders around executing orders. And these rules for GDAX are defined in the trading rules document at support.gdax.com under the matching engine and order priority section. GDAX matches taker orders with open maker orders on each order book based on price, time, priority. We discussed this maker taker matching process in a previous video. In that video, we considered the process in general by saying that a submitted order is either matched with a maker or the order becomes a maker. However, we didn't discuss the rules for making this particular match. GDAX identifies these matchmaking rules by telling us that the matching process is based on price, time, priority. Price, time, priority is an algorithm for prioritizing the makers on the order book. Each order on the book has a specific position in line. The first order in this line is next to be matched with a taker. This positioning is based firstly on price. This means you can jump ahead in line by adjusting the price. And if two orders have the same price, the order that is submitted first is ahead in the line. This is a first in, first out mechanism. Let's have a look at the way GDAX describes this process. Price time priority means that each time a taker order is posted, we're gonna go through the following steps. They give us an A, B, and a C. So what this process is assuming is that we do indeed have a taker order. So the GDAX matching engine has already decided at this point that the order is a taker. If the order was a maker, then the GDAX engine matching engine would place or post the maker order to the book. We're assuming at this point that GDAX has determined that we do have a taker order. These are the steps that the matching engine will go through once the matching engine has determined it has a taker order. The taker order is matched with the earliest in time maker order at the best price on the order book. To the extent that the taker order is not completely filled by the maker order, it is matched with any subsequent maker orders at that price. In the sequence, those maker orders were posted. One thing that this tells us is that multiple orders can exist at the same price on the order book. This is what we have seen in previous videos, and we call these prices on the order book price buckets because each bucket holds multiple orders. To the extent that the taker order is not completely filled by one or more maker orders described above, it is matched with one or more maker orders at the next best price in the sequence that those maker orders were posted. And this process is repeated until the taker order is completely filled. This statement allows us to see why slippage can occur. If a taker order has a larger quantity than the total quantity available at the best price, the matching engine will continue filling the taker order using the makers at the next best price. We call this slippage because the price slips from the best price to the next best price as the order fills. I want to point out that the concept of slippage is an emergent property of this particular matching algorithm. We define the rules of the matching algorithm in this way and out of this definition, the concept of slippage emerges. We often see this type of thing in systems where we define simple rules or axioms and from those rules and axioms, other structures emerge out of those rules and axioms. And slippage is one of those concepts with this particular definition. With this knowledge, we now know the what and the how. We know what the matching engine does. It matches takers with makers. And we know how the matching engine does it by using a price time priority algorithm.